Magic squares are really magic. The idea is to follow one direction. You do the same thing in life. You start at one point. I want to go in one direction, so I'm following this diagonally down right. If I want to follow this direction, then I am supposed to write two here. I'm gonna do it fast because this two does not fit into any column, but it does fit into this row. I'm gonna go to the extreme and put that value. Don't forget, I'm going in this direction. So three should be here. Again, because it's out of the square, I'll put it in the same column, but on the extreme side, the so three here. Now, if I want to go in the same direction, it's already occupied, so I'll start moving in the opposite direction. That is west. So four, don't forget, the direction is still the same. And as soon as you come to that point where you have no option to put a number, you'll always go to the opposite and fill the adjacent left and now seven again direction is the same eight i'll go to the same column and fill the extreme part nine should be here so finally if i'll go and complete the magic square is completed you try to find the sum from all sides your sum will still be the same